How's it going everybody? Coming to you today for a first look at the Harry's Holsters Icon 2.0 for the Smith & Wesson J-Frame and for the Ruger LCR. What we're going to do is we're going to open these up. We're going to have a first look at them. We're going to look at them up close on the tailgate. First thoughts, kind of uh, all around just what do I think of them. So without further ado, let's get started. The Harry Holster Icon 2.0. Okay, so to start off with, I want to show that the gun we're going to be looking at today is safe and clear to handle. Nothing in it. Good to go. And you can kind of see uh, something like this is what I've been carrying the gun in. This is an old uh, leather pocket holster. Uh, I've kind of upgraded from this one because of the fact that the trigger isn't covered in it. But this is something that you would similarly carry or how I would similarly carry the Smith & Wesson J-Frame. Now, I wanted something a little bit better, something that would hide a little bit better, something that I could cover the trigger with, and something that was more in line of how I normally carry, which is appendix carry. And that's where the Harry's Holster Icon 2.0 comes in. When you order it, it'll come in a box. Let me go ahead and show you that box. It's uh, very well printed. It's a nice little box. I mean... You could uh, get this as a gift and wrap it directly over this box, and uh, it would be nice. I mean, it's a nice little box. Um, open it up, and inside you'll have a uh, package of thread locker. You get a card with a QR code for their instructions, harrysholsters.com. And uh, visit harryholsters.com slash instructions for more information or scan the code. And then you get your hardware, which in your hardware you have your clip, you've got your nuts, washers, and bolts. And we'll go all over that when we do the install. So here is your close-up look at the J-Frame Icon 2.0. Has the Harry Holsters wing. Uh, you got dual mounting spots for a deeper carry or a taller carry with your clip. And here is a close-up look at how well finished the holster is. All the lines look really good. I like the swoop. It, it's a good looking holster. Um, let's see how it looks with the gun nice little click and this is from the factory i haven't adjusted anything that 442 looks really good in there i like how the lines fit with the gun allows you to get a good hold good retention click and it's not been adjusted like i said so here good click Allows for a good grip and pull. Okay, so that is a close-up look at the J-Frame uh, Icon 2.0. Now, I've also got here the LCR 2.0. And it comes with the same things. You get your thread locker, you get your uh, hardware, and you get your card. And here is a close-up look at the LCR. Now, unfortunately, a buddy of mine needed to travel to a unfriendly 2A state, and everything he had was too high a capacity, so he asked to borrow my LCR. So I don't actually have the LCR to show you, but everything we cover and the J-Frame Icon 2.0 will be the same for the LCR. Just imagine that it's got an LCR in it. But you can see the same craftsmanship, same quality on the finish. It's a good looking holster as well. So that is the first look at everything that comes in the box. Let's go ahead and mount it up, uh, try out which hole we like, and uh, see how it carries. Okay, for mounting your clip, you've got two different holes here. That you can go with and they've got a little bit of adjustment inside each one that'll allow you to slide a little bit i'm going to start on the bottom hole and install the clip see how i like it 
and then I'll make my adjustments. And if I need to, I'll end up going to the top hole or whichever. So for my first setup, I'm not gonna be using the thread locker until I find exactly where I like it. So what you need to do is take your package of parts, remove your clip, close up look at it. Okay. You're gonna take your screw. It's going to go through the clip, spacer on the back, and your square nut is going to lock in to your holster. You can see how that square nut allows it to slide. And something I also want to point out about the square nut is how it locks in in here so you don't have to hold it. You don't have to get a screwdriver in here like on some holsters. Some holsters use a round uh, flathead uh, nut that need, needs a flathead screwdriver or something to hold on to it for it to tighten down. And the Harry's holsters here, it locks in to the holster with that square nut. And I think that's a really good idea. I think it'll make mounting way easier just lock it in place and you're good to go. So, and just like that, it started that easy. Okay. We'll take our other screw spacer go through the hole take our square nut and feed it through and get it started okay so in one hole you've got that much adjustment that's quite a bit built into it. And you can also see how you've got left and right rotation, up and down. So there's a lot of adjustment built into this holster. I'm gonna try it flat all the way down to start, see how I like it, and then I will make adjustments as needed. But I just wanted to show you just how much flexibility there is depending on how you like to carry what your body style is, what shape of body you've got, and how you need it. And right there is what those screws, or I'm sorry, what those uh, square bolts look like sliding in and out. So, pretty smart setup, Mr. Harry. I like that. So now I'm going to tighten these up and test it out and see how I like it. Okay, so I started out on the two lower holes. And after wearing it and adjusting it and finding where it was comfortable for my body style... I ended up with it at the very bottom of the top two holes. So that's what's great about how this thing is adjustable. I was able to find what fit more comfortable for me, for my body style, with the built-in adjustment that is on that holster. It still allows for a good full grab, and it conceals really, really well with a plain t-shirt type uh, long sleeve shirt uh, with some sort of graphic on it, it disappears. I mean, you cannot see that at all, which it is a J-frame. It's a very small gun to begin with, but you cannot see any sort of outline. And just so you know, yes, it is still clear. Very good retention, very comfortable. Uh, and like I said, it totally disappears with a uh, regular style overshirt, long sleeve shirt, uh, t-shirt type material, uh, something with a graphic on it, boom, it's gone. Now, a more fitted style shirt, you can see it's still, I mean, it's visible obviously because it's outside the shirt, but you can see how 
how it looks with a more fitted type shirt on and the more fitted shirt untucked you can kind of sort of see a little bit of the butt but if i rearrange the gun slightly totally disappears and this is a pretty form-fitted shirt it still allows for me to get and for me to holster it uh works really well there it's a good looking holster it fits good conceals well yeah i uh first thoughts is i really like that okay so that is going to be the first look at the harry's holster icon 2.0 for the Smith & Wesson J-Frame type revolver. Now, everything you've seen is going to roll right over into the LCR and into the other Icon uh, models as well. Uh, just this one is what I've got for the for the J-Frame and uh, it, it works, I like it. It allows for a good solid retention. It allows for a good grip on the firearm and it's easy to reholster um i really like it i like how it has the built-in adjustability with the clip to rotate and to slide up and down makes it very comfortable for whatever body style you've got and uh yeah it's a good looking holster and it fits well I like it. I'll have to uh, take it out to the range and actually do some training with it. Um, but I see no reason why this thing won't work. The, the clip is very strong. It's got good solid retention. The, uh, the looks is good. The build quality is good. The concealability is good. Um, as of right now, first thoughts. I highly recommend the Harry Holster Icon 2.0. I'll do a follow-up in a couple of months after I've carried this for a little while. Uh, went to the range, done some shooting. I'll get video of all that for you guys. But just first thoughts, first setup, straight out of the box. Harry Holster Icon 2.0. I, I like it. I really do. It is comfortable and it looks good and it conceals very well. So... If you're on the fence thinking about getting one, as of right now, I will recommend getting it. Uh, range video and long-term review to come. So keep an eye out, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you will be notified when I do the follow-up on this. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Harry's Holsters, Icon 2.0.